Well, welcome to the cruise diary. It's a sea day here on the Saga Pearl 2. We're sailing up from Copenhagen towards Stockholm. And uh, it began as a very nice day, but in the last hour, the weather has really closed in and now visibility is sort of a hundred yards or something. So they're sounding the ship's whistle every few minutes and uh, we're going very slowly. I thought I'd use today to show you around the ship. Let's start with one of the most important places on board, the galley. Completely refurbished during the, uh, the, the refit in Swansea. And it's a very slick operation in here, turning out 450 meals three times a day. It's the first galley I've ever been on where uh, everyone inside, even the baker, has got an ocean view. Just look at the window. That's made a world of difference. Most galleys on ships, they're deep down in the bowels and the guys never see daylight for months. The food on here has been fabulous. Three or four courses every night. Not too flash, not too fancy, but really, really good. Everybody will take all these different And there's the sedate. It's much more sedate upstairs. People doing crosswords and Sudoku. Oh, that, not sure whether that's an eye or a brain, but it's the object in the reception area. Morning, Your Majesty. Yeah, here's the library. It's superb, well appointed, and it's very, very beautiful. That's Barry Brown, we'll see him again shortly. One book missing from the collection, I couldn't find Captain Rentel's book anywhere. One of the best ways to spend an afternoon at sea is to relax here in the library. Thousands of books, it's huge. It's the biggest public room on the ship apart from the, uh, apart from the Discovery Lounge. Now let's nip outside and have a look. Isn't it lovely? This is the, uh, the Sundowner outside area. And the fog has lifted at last. Quick game of shuffleboard, maybe. Walk a mile. Shows you how small this ship is, ten times round to do a mile. Plenty of space, but where's all the people? They're in Barry Brown's lecture. He used to be producer of um, Film Night for the BBC. He's presenting some great uh, lectures on the ship. also for the bassoon, as I always do. Here we go. They've done a really nice job refitting this ship. It was the Astoria, and uh, they spent between 20 and 30 million pounds doing her up in Swansea. They've done a really nice job. The decor is lighter than uh, on the Saga Rose or the Saga Ruby, and um, the ship is generally a lot brighter. It feels younger. Um, this is Shackleton's Bar. This is the, um, the social hub of the ship, really. You wouldn't know it right now, but that's because everyone's in afternoon tea, which we'll go and look at in a moment. But um, yeah, they've done a nice job. If you were a fan of the, uh, the Rose or the Ruby, or of the Spirit of Adventure for that matter, then I'd definitely give this one a look. And here we are, another tradition, afternoon tea. The food isn't compulsory, but there's an awful lot of it being consumed. Look at that. Mm. Right, we're dining with the captain tonight. Time to get changed.
And there we are. Let's go.